Between 2007 and 2013, the EU is spending almost 100 billion euros on rural development programs to create jobs and promote growth, to make agriculture more competitive and to improve the environment. Spending on rural development covers measures supporting farms, agricultural holdings and small businesses and communities in rural areas. Monitoring and evaluation are key because the European Parliament and the general public need to know how EU money is being spent and whether it's being spent well. So the European Court of Auditors examined whether the Commission and the Member States could show that the spending was effective and efficient. The answer was no. The Member States and the Commission have focused too much on spending the money and not enough on achieving results. Because of that, their monitoring and evaluation of the results achieved has been unreliable, inconsistent or irrelevant. They do not make enough use of the data in their day-to-day -day management. And let me add that the court has reported on this problem for years now. But there is still a lack of assurance that the large sums of money going to rural development are being spent well. The auditors found that if targets were missed, for example on the number of jobs created, the targets were sometimes changed rather than the problem being fixed. In one case, poor guidance on what counted as new meant that virtually any project funded was wrongly reported as having created a new product. If rural development programmes are really to demonstrate value for money, action is needed by both the Commission and the Member States. The Member States should make immediate use of monitoring and evaluation to increase their focus on results. For the next generation of programmes, they should set specific objectives that are measurable with the targets for the results and for each measure. They should justify their choice of measures by reference to efficiency and effectiveness. Last but not least, they should make better use of the information gathered during the projects and be clearer in their reports on whether programmes have achieved their objectives. The Commission should make sure in advance that the results planned by the Member States provide a basis for spending to be efficient and effective. The Commission has the power to do this when it approves the rural development programmes prepared by the Member States. While programmes are running, the Commission must make sure that the Member States collect reliable and consistent information on the results achieved by each rural development measure. And they should consider efficiency and effectiveness before accepting requests to modify approved programmes. According to the auditors, this basic information should have been available before the decision to allocate some 85 billion euros to the next generation of rural development programmes from 2014 onwards. But it's not too late. The new planning period provides an opportunity for the Commission and the Member States to make efficiency and effectiveness much more central in their spending plans.